In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five things that you absolutely must do before you launch your WordPress website. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well, thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five things that you need to do before you press the button and launch your WordPress website. The five tips featured in this video are taken from a longer list, a list of 25 things that you need to do before you launch your website. Yeah, I know that sounds like a lot, but believe me, if you get your site right before you launch it, you're halfway there in terms of making it a success. If you get any of these things wrong before you launch it, you could severely hinder your website's progress and the amount of traffic it gets and just generally how successful it is overall. So if you wanna check out the full 25 point checklist, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's over on wpeagle.com. You might already be watching this video over at wpeagle.com, in which case then you're in the right place. Just scroll down and you'll find everything you need. Now, as a special bonus for those of you that don't like reading lots of words, me being included, I much prefer to look at nice pictures. I've put together an infographic for you. It's a quick reference, cut out and keep, stick it on your wall, put it on your website, kind of infographic that again, covers all the important things that you need to be aware of before you launch your WordPress website. But anyway, I think that's enough of the intro. I've only got one more thing to say, and that is if you're not subscribed, then please do subscribe. You can do so by clicking on lots of things. There's a button down there, or there's something in the corner, one corner, <laughs> whatever you like. Be sure to click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So yeah, that's the end of the intro. Let's get on with these tips. Now the first tip is probably the most straightforward and the most simple of all the tips featured, and that is you've got to untick a checkbox. But do not underestimate this checkbox, for if you forget to untick it, it can totally destroy your search engine rankings. The tick box I'm talking about, well, you find it in your settings within WordPress. It's under reading, and it's a handy little box because when you tick it, it prevents search engines from indexing your site, which is a good thing if you're currently working on your site and it's not ready for the world, you know, you don't want it coming up in search engines and you know, selling traffic when it's only half built. So it is a good idea to tick this box when you're working on your site, but after launch, you must, must, must untick it else. Yeah, you're not gonna get any search engine rankings, which of course is gonna be a bad thing. And I'm talking about this from experience. I have launched sites in the past and forgotten about the box until like a few weeks later when I'm wondering, hmm, where's all my traffic gone? So if there's one thing that you take away from this video and there's one thing that you do every time you launch a WordPress website, make sure it's this, make sure it's unticking that box that you'll find in your settings under reading. Otherwise, yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> the next thing you're gonna wanna do is secure your website with an SSL certificate. Now, this used to be quite expensive because you had to go and buy a certificate uh, and then install it and, and all that kind of stuff. But nowadays, it's quite easy because most hosting companies give you an SSL certificate for free. All you gotta do is request it and then install it and you're all done. If you're not sure on how to do that, I will put a link below this video to a video on how to set up an SSL certificate. Nowadays, an SSL certificate is an essential thing to have on your website because the search engines love it. And in fact, they can penalize sites that don't have one and visitors to your site will love it too because it will make them feel all nice and secure, especially if they're submitting data to you via a form or a checkout or, or something like that. So yeah, nowadays you're gonna to wanna to install that SSL certificate. The next tip, once you've unticked that box and once you've installed your SSL certificate, is you're gonna to wanna to set up Google Webmaster Console and you're gonna to wanna to submit a XML sitemap to that Webmaster Console. The reason why you wanna do this is because by submitting a sitemap to Google, you're letting Google know exactly what pages and posts and products and whatever else you've got on your website, how it's laid out, how often you update it, and which bits of it you want Google to index. You'll also get feedback from Google in terms of how well your site is being indexed, if there's any problems. Basically, loads of useful information and tools that can really improve your rankings on Google. 
Again, if you're not sure how to do this, I've got videos that will take you through it step by step. You'll find all the links below, as I've already said, and I'll put them up in cards as well. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is optimize your site for speed. No one likes a slow website, including Google and the rest of the other search engines. So by increasing the speed and the performance of your site, you're giving visitors a better experience and it's gonna have a positive effect on your search engine rankings. So definitely worth doing. I've got some tutorials on the channel. Uh, we'll take you through everything that you can do to WordPress to get it running nice and fast. Final thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you launch your website and make it live to the world is you're gonna to wanna to check it on as many devices and on as many browsers as you possibly can. Nowadays, people don't just access websites via a computer, they're looking at them on tablets, on phones, laptops, big screens, small screen, TVs, yeah, all sorts of things. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that your site displays properly and that it works correctly on all of these devices. Now, of course, I'm not expecting you to own every single different iPad and iPhone and Android phone and, and all the rest of it. Just test it on the devices that you do own. That's a good start. And install a number of browsers on your computer, test it on those. And there's also a few tools that you can use to simulate all the other devices. I'll put links to those in the description. Um, a number of them are free and they basically uh, run your site through uh, some software and then they generate previews across all the different operating systems, all the different browsers and all the different devices. If you do find a problem with a particular device, you're probably gonna find a solution over with the theme developers, whoever developed your theme. And if you can't, then I suggest you raise a ticket with them and ask them, you know, why is it not working on an iPad? And hopefully they'll help you out. So that brings us to the end of this video. Remember you'll find even more tips, 20 more tips in fact, over at wpeagle.com. The link is in the description and you'll also find that quick reference infographic so yeah, be sure to check that out. If you've got some other tip or something else that you always do before you launch a WordPress website that I haven't mentioned, do leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear what it is. Now, if you're not already subscribed, please click on the eagle up there. Remember to click that bell. That's my other channel. It's a vlog channel, all about business and other things. Go check it out. And somewhere on the screen down here is another video. It's chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.